President Uhuru Kenyatta today said public servants are entrusted to be custodians of public good and must always put the nation before their self-interest. President Kenyatta who spoke when he addressed the 7th Africa Public Service Day at the Kenyatta International Convention Center KICC said Africa is on the rise but needs bold and transformative leaders to keep it on the trajectory of growth. <laughs> Organization of public institutions began with the spirit of creating a sense of brotherhood and collaboration among all people of African descent, whether they lived inside or outside of Africa. At a basic level, it is a belief that African peoples, both on the African continent and in the diaspora, share not merely a common history, but a common destiny. This sense of interconnected pasts and futures has taken many forms, especially in the creation of African culture as one united Africa. Commonwealth Secretariat has sent a team to engage and uh, share with us some, gum, uh, in, some tools for implementation and the measurement of sustainable development goals, national development goals, African Union Agenda 2063. Your Excellency, the tools are also appropriate for measuring and implementing the Kenya Agenda 4 on manufacturing, food security, universal health care, and affordable housing. Your Excellency, African Public Service Day also had a youth forum, which was held yesterday to ensure that youth participation and engagement is at the center of the public service revolution action plan that is going to be rolled out by Sandy. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past decade, Africa's economies have been amongst the world's best performing, and there is no doubt that Africa is rising. Spurred by the emerging generation of young persons whose vibrancy, innovation, talents, and ability to turn challenges into opportunity, provides our, con our continent with a platform for takeoff and sustainable prosperity. It is therefore incumbent on African governments to continue to provide and indeed better the enabling environment required for individual and national success as well as prosperity. This monumental task calls for unyielding commitment, clear and coherent vision bold transformative leadership, and above all else, promotion of integrity and the working hard culture. At the heart of this quest lies responsive and committed governments supported by a diligent, well-motivated, 
and professional public service. Ladies and gentlemen, we as a continent have committed ourselves to finding uniquely African answers to many of our unique and complex challenges. Ours must not be to copy-paste solutions adopted in other jurisdictions, but instead we must create answers that are tailor-made for the questions that Africa faces today and will ultimately face in the future. To achieve this, the people entrusted with the management of public resources and the delivery of the public good must do so in an accountable, transparent, and responsible manner. And it is for this reason that my administration has laid special emphasis on the issue of good governance within the public service, as well as heightening our efforts to combat corruption. This is in line with renewed efforts across our continent, as articulated in the Africa Union's theme for 2018. And I quote, winning the fight against corruption, a sustainable path for Africa's transformation, end of quote. I wish to recognize the role of our African ministers responsible for public service and administration, for the role they have played in the development and indeed the adoption of the African Charter on values and principles of public service and administration. The Charter is indeed transformative. It gives us all a common perspective and approach for achieving Africa's aspirations of an integrated, prosperous, united, as well as borderless continent, and calls for member states to be accountable through periodic reporting. Indeed, it is evident that to achieve sustainable development, effective public service is critical. In this context, I take this opportunity to thank all our ministers for coming up with this charter, which is now being enforced. It provides common standards and norms for effective management of public service across our continent and as such is undoubtedly a great achievement.